In this video we're going to look at the concept of a price floor. We're going to start off by just looking at a normal market for a product and if you're not sure about how this works you should watch the previous videos on supply, demand and equilibrium. The supply and demand for this product leads to an equilibrium price of P1 and an equilibrium quantity of Q1. In some situations the government may not want the price to be that low. An example might be uh, a minimum wage. The government might say, we really want the price of labour, the minimum wage that's being paid, to be higher than that. Another example is currency. A government may not want its currency to be valued that lowly and may intervene to make the currency value higher. In order to do this, a price floor is put into place. We'll draw our price floor here. So now PF is representing the price floor. Some people sometimes get a little bit confused because they would think that a floor would be down lower and we would look at a price ceiling and a price floor and they might go, well I would expect that to be the floor and that to be the ceiling, but that's not the case. And the way we need to think of it is that the equilibrium level is at P1 and so the price is attempting to fall from PF and trying to push through down through this level down to the equilibrium level of P1 but there is a floor that's being put in place that's to stop it from falling down to that level so here we have the price floor because the price of this product is so high the people who demand that product are less likely to demand it than they were before and so the quantity which they will demand won't be up as high as Q1, it will be down here at Q2. Suppliers of that product, however, will see the higher prices and they will want to supply more. And so we see the intersection with the price and the supply level will lead to a supply of that product of Q3. And so what this gives us is an excess supply of the product of this amount here. In the case of a minimum wage this will mean that there's more workers wanting to work because the wage rate is, is higher than expected but businesses are less likely to want to hire those workers so we actually end up with unemployment in this, in this market which would be a labour market in that case and the unemployment level is that level of excess demand. In the case of something like a currency uh, if this is in the foreign exchange market, there would be an excess supply of the currency and the government would need to intervene by going in and buying that excess supply in order to maintain the floor level. And so by putting in a price floor, we end up with an excess supply of that particular product and the excess supply is of that level Q2 to Q3.